Hey all, and uh, it's it's been quite a while. Um, there's a lot to go over, but I want to condense this. So basically, Monster Hunter Rise is coming to Xbox with Game Pass and Game Pass on PC as well, and it's coming to PS4, which is wild. I didn't expect this coming at all. Um, but on top of that, I'm back. To making videos and it's gonna take a little while to like get into the feel of things again but I'm back I am back and there's a few things I want to say so one so having this game come to these consoles on January 20th on top of that Sunbreak is coming out in spring so it's not even launching on those two consoles with Sunbreak which is a little weird but um yeah uh that's gonna be a separate video in itself but just to quickly say it's a little weird i wonder why they're doing this i don't know if monster hunter 6 is going to take a while longer than we thought i have no idea but i guess we're gonna find out sooner or later title update 3 i did play somewhat of it um i recently started playing rise again a little bit more so once i delve into the new skills fight more of the risen monsters and stuff I can make more videos on that, uh, for sure. But, um, yeah, as for taking a break from Monster Hunter, um, or content creation in general, uh, I had a really weird mental block. Like, views were all weird and crazy, and I just got lost in the sauce. Like, that's basically it. So, I think I've been taking a break for about three to four months so far. And, uh, it was much needed. So, yeah, a lot has happened since I took that break. Even more controversy with like paid DLC and stuff like that. Which I don't even want to get into, to be honest with you. The community is very passionate about a lot of things about these games. Including the future of these games with things like paid DLC. Like what exactly is going to happen with that. And, you know, the ethics of whether or not Capcom is being a little bit too greedy with it and whatnot. Uh, we can get into that in a separate video as well. But right now is not the time to talk about that. But yeah, uh, Chaotic Gore or Chaos Gore. Really fun fight so far. And I have yet to test his armor set yet, but I will. But outside of Monster Hunter, though, there's this little game that's coming out soon from Namco Bandai, published by Amazon in the West. And it's technically an MMORPG or an online action RPG, if you want to call it that. It's Blue Protocol. This is a game that I plan to cover on the channel extensively. Outside of Monster Hunter, this is going to be my next big baby project for sure. Because I wanted a game that was a service that was very Monster Hunter-like that just kept going. Monster Hunter is not a service and that makes it a little difficult to keep up with content in between droughts. Very difficult. So... This game is right up my alley personally, and it's very similar to PSO2 New Genesis or PSO2 in general, but I don't know. It's looking a little bit more solid, in my opinion. PSO2 is going through some weird development cycles, and I don't know if it's ever going to get out that rut at this point. But for this game, this game I'm definitely excited for. And this game will be out in 2023, at least for the West. Also, uh, on top of that, there's a content creation program that I have signed up for. Hopefully, I get into that. And But the combat itself, like, it's just very action-oriented. And expect a lot. And I mean a lot of combat videos from me. Tutorial videos. That shit I do best. Like, expect that stuff. And, obviously, commentary. But, yeah, I hope some of you or all of you stick around. Uh, because the journey is resuming, basically. So yeah, um, I'll see you all in the next one.